Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VD markets were trading lower as US Treasury yields rose and interest rates ticked higher. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, hovered around the $61,000 crucial mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 1.7% at 77,000 points. Interestingly, Core Scientific, a leading Bitcoin mining firm, has returned to profitability after reporting a breakout first quarter with mined BTC worth $179 million. Core Scientific's return to profitability and its relisting on the Nasdaq marks a significant turnaround for the company analysts believe. Furthermore, quantitative trading firm Susquehanna International Group made a significant move in the cryptocurrency market by allocating over $1 billion to Bitcoin exchange traded funds during the first quarter of 2024. The majority of its investments are in the three leading Bitcoin ETFs, Grayscale BTC, Fidelity Bitcoin and BlackRock Bitcoin. Meanwhile, in its latest quarterly report, Robinhood announced a 40% increase in net revenues reaching $618 million. Specifically, revenue from crypto transactions surged by 232%, amounting to $126 million. According to the company, the cryptocurrency arm played a vital role in driving total transaction-based revenue to $329 million, up 59% over the same period last year. Separately, Japanese cryptocurrency exchange CoinCheck expects its listing on Nasdaq via a merger with special purpose acquisition company Thunder Bridge Capital Partners 4th to complete in the second or third quarters. Meanwhile, a rapid succession of nearly $2 billion of token unlocks during the next 10 weeks could lower the market for altcoins. Not just altcoins facing selling pressure, over $11 billion worth of Bitcoin will be distributed to creditors of crypto exchange Gemini's earned program and long defunct crypto marketplace Mt. Gox. Amid upcoming supply events, one market observer suggested that the FTX repayments might offer some relief. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $2.26 trillion mark, decreasing 1.5% in the last 24 hours. The total trading volume decreased by 1.2% to $63 billion. Going forward, BitPay's data shows that out of almost 50,000 transactions performed last month, 22,345 used Litecoin. This amounts for 41.38% of total transactions, a dramatic contrast to Bitcoin's 11,635 transactions, which accounts for only 21.55%. As Bitcoin transaction fees continues to rise, people are increasingly turning to alternatives such as Bitcoin. In other news, Tether announced an additional investment in CityPay.io to strengthen its Eastern European presence. The funding will enhance the payment processes reach in over 600 Georgian locations, according to the announcement. CityPay.io powers traditional institutions with infrastructure to receive payments in crypto and became the first stablecoin-backed entity to receive funding from the company. Moreover, Injective, a Cosmos-based blockchain whose INJ token price jumped a stunning 33-fold in 2023, only to tumble this year, is now planning a significant expansion, launching its own Layer 3 network in the Ethereum ecosystem based on the Layer 2 project Arbitrum's technology. Well, Shiba Inu has seen an incredible surge in new accounts for its Shibarium platform, a Layer 2 solution aimed at improving the functionality of the meme-inspired cryptocurrency. Data from Shibarium Scan shows a remarkable 1,733% increase in new accounts in just one day. Your stock futures fell as momentum on Wall Street waned and interest rates ticked higher. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped by 0.2%, S&P 500 futures were down 0.2% and while Nasdaq 100 futures fell 0.3%. Bitcoin was trading at $61,100, down 2.2%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 1.1%, trading at $2,970. Solana SOL was down 3.3% and was trading at $141. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $34, lower 2%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 0.3% to trade at $0.67. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 2.6% at $0.14. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1.3%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.51 down by 1.8%. Polkadot was down by 2.7% to trade at $6.8. However, BNB was up by 1.5% to trade at $593. Cardano's AD token was up by 2% to trade at $0.45. That's all in CoinMonitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information stories, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code.
three Dodo TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with three Dodo TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. Readout TV delivers the news that matters. The current UK government will only have enough time to implement stable coin and staking secondary legislation in the coming weeks, Economic Secretary Bin Afolami said on Wednesday. What I am very confident we will be able to achieve is the secondary legislation around staking and stable coins. Those two things are absolute priorities in the coming weeks and months, Afolami said at the Financial Times Crypto and Digital Asset Summit. Stable coins and election is expected to occur in the second half of this year, leaving little time for the current ruling party, the Conservatives, to implement all of the crypto measures they promised. Japanese cryptocurrency exchange CoinCheck expects its listing on Nasdaq via a merger with special purpose acquisition company Thunder Bridge Capital Partners 4 to complete in the second or third quarters. The time scale is subject to approval by Thunder Bridge 4's stakeholders, the US Securities and Exchange Commission and Nasdaq, Tokyo-based CoinCheck said in an announcement on Wednesday. The merger was announced over two years ago in March 2022 with initial plans to complete in the second half of that year. The target was pushed to July 2023 before being extended further by up to 12 months. Once the merger completes, the Netherlands domiciled business will be re renamed CoinCheck Group and list on the Nasdaq Group Global Select Market under the ticker CNCK, joining Coinbase as the only crypto exchanges publicly traded in the US. Looking to strengthen its market share in the Asia region, Wintermute will be a liquidity provider to the recently launched Hong Kong-listed Spot Bitcoin and Ether exchange-traded funds, the company announced on Wednesday. The London-based firm is partnering with OSL Digital Securities and Hashkey HK Exchange, both of which are sub-custodians of virtual asset trading platforms facilitating the operation of the ETFs, according to the statement. The market maker will help both OSL and Hashkey with the buying, selling and delivery of the underlying assets of the ETFs, in this case Bitcoin and Ether to allow for a seamless creation and redemption process. The three Hong Kong listed Bitcoin ETFs, which went live on April 29th, have so far seen a slow start compared to their counterparts in the US as of the close on Monday, they had accumulated just shy of 4,400 Bitcoins or roughly $276 million in asset under management.